What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla free roam gameplay. So in this episode we're going to be taking on a few more bases. Uh, we have a little bit of a fight with some wolves at some point. Hello sir. You're a friendly, right? I think you're a friendly? You're wearing blue like... Yeah. I had to check by hitting him. Because that's the way to check if you're a friendly or not. <laughs> but yeah. We're going to do some more exciting things today. If you didn't check out the first episode of this, we did a lot of exploring. I'm still on my horse. We did a lot of exploring and a little bit of fighting and had a big battle to draw attention at the here. end. But this place here is the first sort of, let's say, enemy outpost that we're going to be taking on here. So hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, let's aim for 2,000 likes on this episode. And if you want to see more of this game from me, let me know in the be comments down eyes. below. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on my social networks. Links below. Looks like whatever we need to find is down there. Uh, most of the enemies seem to be outside. Okay. This shouldn't be too bad. Suggested power is 55. Eh, I'll be fine. Let's see what happens. Oh, and also keep an eye out for Watch Dogs Legion content on the channel too. Just in case you didn't know it was there. It's there. Trust. It's good. Trust. Alright, what's the best way to fight these guys off? I'm way too high up here. You know what? Do you see what's inside? This big old thing? I guess we need to do breakable walls. I can hit it. Uh, can I throw one of those jars at it? Let me see. That should open it up, right? Yeah, well, we kind of missed, but... <laughs> yeah. Alright, it's like the torch. This is the menu that I was talking about in the previous episode. It's like the... It's just a menu to get all your things. So you can call your horse from it. You can call in for reinforcements from it. And where am I supposed to go here? What the hell? They said there was treasure down here. Through there? Um... I've got a jar. I'm gonna... I didn't actually need to do that. <laughs> you know what? We'll find this place later. We'll, we'll figure that out later. Let me kill everybody in here first. Because I feel kind of cheeky that I've just skipped everybody and just gone into the little treasure zone. Let's give these a good old scrapping. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Get down, get down, get down. Let's see if I can throw this at that guy. Set him on fire. Uh oh, he's gonna see me. Hello. Well, that missed. <laughs> oh, great. Um, so they know something tried to blow them up, but they <laughs> don't think they know where I am. That was terrible. Why did that not work? Oh, don't spot me, don't spot me, don't spot me. Oh, they spotted me. They spotted me big time. Right. If I can call in my dudes, that would be lovely, but I don't- Yeah, they can't reach me here. We need to be by the river for that. But there's a little, little, little look at how the horn works. If you watch the walkthrough stuff that I've done in this game, you'll see how the horn works there. Ow! Goddamn capture. Alright, let's finish these guys off. Chuck this head off. Woo! We're flying. I don't know what that guy's doing in the background. He's- Oh wow, we've got fire bombs. That seems a little bit unfair. Don't you death? No, 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 no! Don't you throw them? You mother! God damn! Oh wow, we both <laughs> he just set himself on fire. Um. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? No, he's dead. Well, you made my life easier. Thank you, sir. I'm looking a bit crispy myself here. Looking a little bit burned. That was nice. Got a little letter. You want to read that? Give it a pause. I ain't got time for reading letters right now. Mushrooms. So those mushrooms and the little You're plants and stuff that you see on the floor, you pick them up, it'll add to your health thing. You see in the bottom left, it's got a little heart and it's got five on it. That's basically, I've got five sort of health stims, let's say. Um, whereas I pick this up, it just upgrades. It does my health up itself. But if you're in a battle and you need a bit of instant health, you just push up on the D-pad and it will basically heal you up slightly um, in your fight. But I've only got five times I can use that, so you got to be careful. 
You gotta be very careful. And what's up top here? I've already been down there. Should be an eagle point up here actually. May as well grab it. Have a little look at the world from this area. But if you're looking for stuff to do on the map when you're playing this game, you're looking for the gold icons. Touched on in the previous episode. The blue sort of squiggly lines, they're the main missions. Be my eyes. But those gold things that you see there, they're little side missions that you can do, little quests that will basically give you loot or treasures or whatever it is but there's quite a few of them lying around to be fair and then even then the little villages that you come across as well they all have tend to have enemies in them as well but over the next few episodes of this i'll be um going through all of these sort of gold areas clearing out the little camps having a good old time that way look at that i'll say this the game is really nice um it definitely it de i will say not as a negative but i guess it's like a, a neutral point it does feel very samey samey in terms of looks and, and it feels like uh, an Origins Odyssey hybrid. It's got the same feel as those two games, but obviously now we're in a Viking kind of kingdom. I guess that's good for some people and that's not good for other people. Um, I, I kind of like it. I just cannot wait to explore the rest of the world, you see, because I'm really excited to see the snowy areas and, you know, the different areas. I think the reason I'm, I'm feeling like it's quite similar is because these areas feel similar at least to Odyssey. There was a lot of uh, Odyssey areas that felt just like this. But still. Alright, so now I'm the male Eivor. Or Ivor. There's a dead cow there for some reason. Does that mean wolves are going to be around here? What? Yep. Yep, it does indeed. Oh, my days. I actually called. <laughs> oh, no, my horse. Is my horse dead? No. He's just playing dead for a little bit so he doesn't have to fight. I get it. Just one of you. Give me that. Feel stronger already. See there, I just healed up. Oh, oh no. Okay, okay. You came out of a bush. Bush wolf. Oh, throwing axe attack. I'll take that. That's one of the special ability moves that you can use if you hold RT. Let's see what else we can do here. Go for you. <laughs> Feels harsh to be doing that a wolf. But, you know, they attacked me with my horse. So you deserve it, bro. Sucks to be you. Alright, horsey, you good? Your head's in a tree. You snacking on the tree? It's a nice tree in it, but we're going. Come on. Silly goose. It's not a goose, obviously. It's a horse, but you know what I mean. Alright, now I mentioned the gold icons as well, but there's also these little light blue icons that we're headed to one now. But this is that mission that we did in the previous episode. We did check it out. But basically, yeah, so you have like, I think they're more like encounters. Um, and they lead you more to battle, whereas the gold ones, they tend to be more outposty kind of things. I think that's what it is. Um, but obviously I haven't played enough of the game to know that for sure. But the little... Light blue, oh god, more wolves. The little light blue uh, icons there tend to be the encounters. The gold tends to be the outposts, at least for now. Why is that wolf on fire? Triple shot. Don't miss. Ah! Pete's sake, man. The bow is really powerful. But obviously, if you're trying to use it against enemies that are sprinting towards you, like these two, three, it doesn't work so well. You sit down, mate. Sit down. Let me deal with your friends. Oh, there's another one. Of course there is. There we go. Got a try attack. Come here, you albino wolf. I don't mean that in a derogatory way. That wolf is looking injured as anything. Hold on. Come here, man. Stop running away. Stop. Come here. Thank you. That's the end of you. Oh, I'm... Oh, come on, I was going to say a cool line, man. Sounds like we're just fighting wolves today. <laughs> just a little peck on the shield. Oh, 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 fight me now, boy. You don't like... Oh, my. How many more wolves do we... That was aggressive. 
How many more wolves do we need, though? You know, I, I feel like I've had my, my fair share of wolves right now. All right? Be done with you. Those takedowns are brutal. You'll see some of the takedowns on the enemies. I think the mo most of the takedowns I did, though, were while I was playing the story missions. But if you go and check those videos out, some of the takedowns on the, on the actual human enemies are graphic as anything. Crazy stuff. Got a village over there, but I, can't, I couldn't go to it in this. Like I said, that, that black line on the map is the area that we were sort of locked to. I think I touched on this in the previous episode of this. When I was talking about how the world is big, but it doesn't feel too sort of drawn out. But there's little little areas like this. I don't know, it just felt really nice to ride through it. There's not an obnoxious amount of copy and pasted trees. You know, everything feels unique in the area. Does that make sense? Different terrain levels, things like that. You can see things on the horizon. I don't know, it's just a nice feeling game. I just hope when it comes out, there's plenty, plenty, plenty of stuff to do because one of my worries with big open world games is the uh, sort of shockingly limited amount of missions to do and different things to do while you're in the middle of, you know, nowhere. You know, you're just stuck traveling for ages. It just gets very, very samey. This is the bag in which you collect all your things. You got your power level down in the middle. So I've got like OCD. I don't like having the. You've still got stuff to check out. You can also upgrade your weapons, your armor, everything. Like you see here. Ability points or skill points, even. All right, where do we want to go? That mission there. Yeah. That's on the radar. Horsey, ah. let me mount you, boy. Let's go. Yeah. You can't jump over that, huh? No. Too high for you. Oh, boys. Grow some balls, mate. Grow some balls. It is sad not seeing uh, horse testicles like in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I guess that's the only game willing to put horse testicles into a game, but it is something that I'd like to see. I couldn't tell you why, but horse testicles interest me. At least, video game horse testicles. Yeah, you know, put a pair of horse testicles in front of me in real life, I'm, I'm not too fast. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really not. You don't. Oof. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Okay. No, you don't, fellas. Oh, oh, sand attack. Okay. Playing dirty, I see. How'd you like this? Oh, oh, oh that was beautiful. That was, okay, I can't climb up there. It's spiky. That was actually a beautiful little three-peat shot of the two of them. Took them both out. Uh, you? Bad guy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. He's one of these throwing fire boys. No, 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 you don't. Why do you do that so close to yourself? Oh! So that was a little special raven attack. It's one of the ability attacks that you can have. I shouldn't be touching him right now. He's very on fire. <laughs> uh, but you can get your raven to come in and basically attack the enemy. Oh my god, what's that? Okay. It's quite a fun little thing. And you can upgrade each of the abilities as well. So each of the LT and RT things that you see on the right and left of the screen, they can be upgraded. Even once you've unlocked one of them, you can upgrade that one if you like it. Too. I like that little feature too. There's also these paint barrels as well. You see that big, that's not blood on the floor, that's red paint. Um, if you kill an enemy next to the red paint stuff or blue paint or whatever, they get covered in it. I quite like that. It's, it's like a random thing, but it looks cool. Hey, with the fire, mate, can you stop? Uh oh. Did he just, I think he just dropped a bomb. No? No. 
Damn! <laughs> oh, it was too good. What are we looking for? I feel great. I'm gonna guess there's another enemy here somewhere because it's still classed as a restricted area, but where is he? Have I looted everywhere? Am I missing something? He moved on the ground. Yeah, that's it. Stand on the fire. Really good, really good idea. Anything in this tent? Dude, where's this last guy? Another mission over there, we'll head to that now, but I just, I'd like to... Oh, there, why are you here, bro? Assassinate. There you go. So a lot of people were wondering if you could still assassinate like a one-hit assassination, because they pretty much removed that in Origins and Odyssey. It's back. That is also the, um, what's it called? Not eagle, but detective mode, I guess you'd say. Uh, where you can basically just scan areas, you can see what you're looking for, see the objectives in the area, see if there's any collectibles around, that kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, it is nice to see one-hit assassinations back. You do have, to, you can only do them on particular enemies, or if they're particularly weak, um, or if you're in stealth, that kind of thing. But, uh, it is nice to see it again. Uh, where are we headed to? Kedstone. Kedstone. What's this? A big old tree. And a big old hole. Oh, this... The moon... You look the, through the moon through that, don't you? Liking times were weird. Pause that if you want to read that. Let's see what's going on here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kids, I don't want to be dealing with you. What the hell? Oh, footprints. Not exactly the sleuthiest people, are they? Some coins have been taken from me. Were they robbed? Footprints? Could be a child. Little thieving kids. Alright, so this is another one of the mysteries. Let's go and unmystify it. Whoa, mate. Like ghosts of rabbits and squirrels and stuff. Oh, here they are. Yeah, you, why? Why? Have you got twigs on your head? What the? I will kill you. To the land of Saint Martin's. Who? It is shrouded within an eternal twilight. Okay. You live here. Where are your parents? Questions, questions. Those can wait. Let's go up first. Okay, this feels extremely inappropriate, but sound. Me first. <laughs> Stupid kid. Welcome to St. Martin's Land, weary traveler. Thank you. We're gonna chill with these kids, are we? Okay. <laughs> I thought we got away, sis. Your hands and feet are swift, children, but your stealth needs work. Aye, it does. Oh, we were close. We will give you what we took, Traveller. But first, you must listen to our story. Do I have to? <laughs> Once, a long, long time ago, in a far away land, there was a sister. And a brother. I was getting there. But yes, and a brother. They lived happily in the land of St. Martin, all by themselves, with delicious beans. Beans? Lots and lots of beans and cake. But now, I like cake. Life is harder. There are no more beans or cake, and we have to take what is not ours. No more cake. We're not bad children, just hungry. Sorry, Large Walker. Oh, they gave me no money back. There's no shame in surviving, but... and there's nothing you should not do for family. You're wise, Large Walker. Thank you. I'm gonna give him the money. Here, take my silver. You were going to anyway. <laughs> Buy what you need. Only steal if you cannot afford it. Thank you. But I do not think we deserve this. No, you don't, but you don't it's that or I kill to live you. This way either. Spend the silver wisely. Or that. He's a nicer guy than I am, Evo. <laughs> a much nicer guy. Here, large walker. A necklace. Yes, it's a St. Martin seal. You're welcome here anytime, large walker. You're one of us now. Visit us, okay? So? I will. Take care now, small green walkers. Wicked. 
That was a nice little encounter that. Made some friends with some kids. Friends of St. Martin, Fiona the Fox. Are you? F I think she's Fiona the Fox. Uh, now, I think they've got missions for us and stuff, but we'll, we'll focus on them another time. We've got skill points here. Go for the melee attack. Oh, look at that. See, now that has opened up a whole new little... But there's just so many uh, skill points. It, the, the skill tree is just mad in this game. But I kind of like it. Because it's very diverse. A lot of the things do similar stuff. But, you know, if you focus on one tree, you can get your, your, your own assassin to be in a particular way, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here, guys. See how they're taking the mask off there, but it's still on. The helmet, even. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, like I said, guys, if you want to leave a like, that'd be cool. Let's aim for 2,000 likes on this episode. Subscribe if you are new. Like I've said, like 80% 80 80 of people aren't subscribed, but still watch my videos. That's mad. You know, think how many subscribers we could have if 80% more people just subscribed. Not begging, but I'm begging. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Topless now. See you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>